Here we go. We're loading up. Yeah. Game one going to stadium. Yep, fair. And it's going to be Nuggets, Nuggets song counter pick. I know he loves uh, this song with Pokemon Stadium. But uh, game one right now. They're, oh, wow. They're just kind of playing around each other. They're setting up for a lot of projectiles. Yep. There we go. You can see the grenade pulls from Helka. Looking for someone to hit him, like, right there. Right? Yep. He pulls it, puts the shield up. Somebody tries to hit him. They pop the grenade, and boom, he gets that free damage without hurting himself. And he's kind of chucking them all around the screen now. Every trade is a good Ooh. trade, but Helka actually the one taking the most damage right now. So he hasn't been able to quite set up camp for himself quite yet. We're seeing Kuma uh, just taking his time, actually, with the approach. And it's working out quite well. Was able to get a hit on a Pelka. Ooh. Two, now three hits on a Rafi. Kuma uh, doing so yep. well. Yeah, Pelka saw that. He he parried one of Nugget's aerials and was like, "Well, I have to come. I have to come see Rappy because if he's off stage, he's just gonna die." And the up air, nah. Ooh, that was a, that was actually a mix. I thought Kuma was gonna kill Ra Ra Rob, but uh, ended up dying on his own. And yeah, he tried to save himself there with the C floor, but it just doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. and that's the thing, right? It's a lot harder uh, to force yourself into the stage sometimes to get that tech. And even then, uh, sometimes you try to go as low as possible as you can to the blast zone. So that when you do get the detonation, you go up high, but you, you don't die. Yeah, and right now they're just kind of playing a 1v1 game here. And oh. I think Rafi's more more comfortable versus Kuma's Lucina than he would be, say, a Lades. So, after off stage, has Palk off. Yeah, he's going to go for the recovery here. Yeah. Drops the C4. You have to be careful for that on that platform. Palk is going to play under it. Yep. There you go. Easy conversion for Pelka uh, with the back air off the grenade out of shield. And now you can see this is exactly what I'm talking about. This offstage gameplay that Rafi has to deal with against Kuma. And boom, Rafi not dead, but getting close to that point. Kuma still hunting him down. Yep. This is definitely a... Uh, oh, yep. Had the C4 explosion. This is definitely a scary spot for uh, for red team right now. Because they both had a pretty high percent. And both blue team characters have the... Uh, they have the kill potential to take a stock off of red team. But... Uh, Rafi with a Rafi with a back air on Kuma there. Just take that take that stock. There we go. Ah, oh, parry the up smash. Yep. Rafi on his final stock. Yep. The same is for Kuma. So we do have a very close game here. 110 on a Pelka. 81% on nuggets. two Nuggets, and they both have two stocks as well. So we're gonna see who's gonna be able to pull ahead here. That's a beautiful jab reset. It's gonna go right into the dancing blade. It's gonna be good damage racked up for Kuma there. Yeah, the serious spot. He Nikita. I thought he would have went for an edge guard, but no. Uh, yeah, this is uh, as you see it off. Yep, hits him with the hits him with the meaty back air, super low, and uh, come up with come up with a stock trade from Nuggets. And this is scary. F tilt. Yeah, Kuma just has to be more careful because every time he's off stage, Raffy comes in and edge guards him and says, "This is what your character makes me feel like." Yeah. Get ready to die in the back air at 60. <laughs> it's rough now, right? I mean. Just we're gonna see Pelka unscathed and just setting up all these projectile traps, running away from Kuma, knowing nice. how to target Back to it. Nice, take Raffi's stock. He's able to get that super early, able to finally catch that high recovery, and now it's a 2v1 coming from Blue Team, which is not what I was expecting, but both people on Blue Team are at a fairly high percent, and Pelka only, ah, oh, that was just not a, that was just not a good fair at all. Yeah, he just shouldn't have swung there, uh, by accidentally now, killing his teammate, yeah. and now it's up uh, you know, Takuma to beat Pelka in this 1v1, but Pelka is so healthy here. Only 40% as someone as thick as Snake. It's going to take a while for him to die, but easy. Yeah. Pelka is definitely more familiar with his character than Kuma probably is with Lucina, as Lucina not being his main, but Lucina just uh, another sortie that is pretty easy for him to play in doubles. So game one going to be going to red team, and that was, that was pretty good for Pelka with the two-saw comeback. That was just unlucky with Kuma getting the fair on Nuggets to just with a team kill. There's yeah, just not I a smart play. Just uh, needed to break them up somehow, or maybe a, a, a throw needed to happen to kind of use invulnerability or something. Uh, but whatever happened there was definitely not the play. Pelka uh, and Rafi, you know, talking it out. Same thing for Nuggets and Kum over there. Looks like they're really scheming something. Mm -hmm. um, they're chefing something up over there. We might see the Roy, honestly, from Kuma. I think I think the Roy is not a bad play here. But yeah, he's, he's saying, he's just swing your sword, bro. <laughs> yeah, just like let it. You just, know, just like a let pool let noodle it, you know what I mean? It's just like, let it rock. My man, they're really thinking out here, man. They got some Jimmy Neutron, Galaxy Blaine uh, deliberation going on here for him to take this long to decide where they want to go for uh, this next game. But <laughs> <laughs> Got the melee theme playing? Oh, what, what a great theme. 
What a good meme. But we're going to see the same characters. No switch coming from any uh, either team. And we're going to be going to uh, town for game two here. So opting to go for a bigger stage. Have more room to play around. And hopefully leads for Puma getting edge guarded less by uh, Rappi. Here we go. Town in city will be the selection. Yeah. Nuggets. Beautiful down air and quarter conversion. Yeah. Be able to get that uh, kind of easy guaranteed damage on a Rafi. Probably going to be fishing for that conversion a little bit more. Uh, if he's able to do it somewhere close to the middle of the stage, he'll be able to go for that uh, float down air into drag down up air and then convert to a down tilt from there. But we haven't seen that happen quite yet. As you know, there's just not enough time and or space. Oh, Ooh. that was super scary. He hit him with the he hit him with the up air coming back, and he almost got uh, caught in the Rob cycle in there. That would have been super scary and it would have been an easy sock. But. Oh, he has him off stage. Nice upy from uh, Kuma there to stop him, but uh, this is a scary position. No kill just yet off of the edge guard. Has them both off stage right now. He needs to he needs to close out one of these socks. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't get either. That's unlucky. Let's see what else happens. Has that ledge here. Scary spot. Hits Ooh, through the covered high. Ledge. Yeah. Oh, he goes with the tech chase I smash. Yeah, this is, oh, ah, that's just not what he wanted. He tried to up smash out of shield, and Pelka was just aware of it, and Nuggets wasn't. He was going to flail those arms around. Not enough to KO, but Kuma almost knocked out there. That will be a KO. Yeah, Pelka be going down. Nuggets on Pelka, and bringing it back to close to even. Nair, not, Nair is going to take the stock, and right now, Blue Team with a very, very small lead. Oh, oh God. No. Raffi? <laughs> Yeah, he, he went off for the he went off for the side be there and just went way too low for it and he's yeah, he's gonna pay for it again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be Kuma's first stock done. But Rafi, with that SC, put put Red Team in a super bad disadvantage spot. Gonna have to make it up here. Yeah, it's up to Rafi right now. Yeah. To try and stay alive as long as possible. And I like it. Throwing out that down tilt frame three, very quick move, about as quick as his jab even I believe. Yeah. So. Good does have that trip ratio on it. You can see Rafi's actually just taking to the corner. He's letting Pelka run in, uh, try to get these hits because he knows that he can't risk taking damage. Right, right yeah. to this right corner. This is Rafi's spot. You can see the tent. He planted the flag, and now he has a chance to go for an edge guard. So do it and beautiful. Yeah, nice Blinded down to up. Dude, now, you saw that? Bring it back to even. He said, "I'm not going out without a fight here." Uh, hit him with the down smash out of shield. No one exactly the coordinates for the battleship, man. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was a nice parry from Kuma off the uh, grenade and the C4. Uh, said, I'm not getting hit by either of those, Big Doug. Okay, another gyro comes out. Okay, and Dash uh, No kill out on Pelka just yet. But this is a super, yeah, nice. Now it's uh, the last stock for Red Team and Rafi. Not going to be able to get the stock share uh, from Pelka when his last stock is gone. But uh, Blue Team definitely has a, super, a pretty good lead right now. Now, blue team on their final stock, and it's just going to be one, one edge oh, guard no from... Attack from yeah, Rafi. Yeah, no attack there. This is going to be this is gonna be a lot of uh, running around from Pelka here. He's going to be able to live a, a good amount of time if he doesn't get killed by anything too early or any bad hits. And it's going to be just projectile droppings from here. Uh, this, this is definitely... I think this is still definitely doable for uh, Pelka here. But, you think so? Yeah. He, if he gets Kuma stock here, then I think uh, he, he's going to be able to make good work of Nuggets. Because I know Nuggets struggles in this matchup a fair about, a fair bit, and I'm pretty sure Puck has a set lead on them. So it just comes down to if uh, he's able to take the stock. I see. So we're going to see if he's able to do that. Now, granted, uh, you know, he is only at 40, 60 now. So there is a Saturn in play now. This is uh. So now he's not allowed to shield. This yeah. kind of sucks for, for Puck. Yeah, there no, we go. Saturn's... Gone. Saturn's, oh, all, Saturn's also going to set off every single projectile it hits too, even the C4 just immediately. Yeah, yeah he doesn't. Want, he doesn't want to release. Oh, oh yo, Pelka yeah. with the fadeaway yeah. drop kick. Oh, the back air just going to catch the get up. Yeah, nice. There you go. Nice nuggets with the handshake and Kuma. Even even though there's a little bit of misplay from both teams, right? That game, uh, especially with Rafi with the super early SD, uh, they're 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 making pretty. Close work. They kept it pretty close. Pelka and Nuggets uh, were both last stock. Pelka almost had the 2v1 situation. So this is, uh, I think this is definitely still doable for uh, Ra Rafi Pelka. Just need to work on, uh, clean it up for game three. 
Yeah, we're going to see if they're able to do it. That SD from Raffi really cost them a lot of mileage in that second game there. So I feel like, you know, with that, I mean, we even saw Pelka's face kind of when he went for that SD. He was like, He's like come on, bro. You're really like, throwing right now. Like, on dogs, bro? Yeah, on, do <laughs> on but, dogs, bro. Uh, you know, <laughs> got to brush it off, right? You got to go into game three. Yep. Uh, new game, new mindset. Yep. Uh, eyes on the prize, set on winning here. But Nuggets and, and Kuma aren't going to make that easy for Pelka and Raffi. They could very easily... Uh, take this game here. This is close. Yep. This These is are the kind of matches I like. Yeah, this is definitely uh they, they have to they have to start respecting uh Kuma Nuggets more. And I think I think Kuma Nuggets also have to just start cleaning up on uh the team kills because that happened game one and game two now. So uh game game three going back to Pokemon Stadium for the first game which is where red team won. Uh maybe maybe blue team could have an adaptation here to be able to take it being fourth seed for the tournament. Already we see Raffi. I'll run to his right side corner. Going off stage here. Oh, goes for the drive copter, please. Okay. This time he's able to time it correctly. Yeah, uh, Raffi going for the high recovery here, but now both red team off stage. Yeah, Raffi was able to get back in with uh, the Nair. Same with Palka. But both of them have their backs to the wall right now while blue team's just oppressing them. F throw, no punish. I don't know, man. Down tilt once again to the grab, throws him off stage. And we're looking, Raffi tries to get the gyro, didn't realize he had one in play already. But I'm just even you know, looking at the stock count, like it's really hard to say who's gonna pull ahead. The Dragon Ball Z moment, sending both Raffi and Nuggets to the opposite side of the screen, but still nothing quite yet. Who's gonna get this KO? Will it be an up tilt from Palka? Looks like he's fishing for it. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely able to get this kill right now because all, all four of these characters have like one move that's just gonna kill right now. And that's just multiple socks being gone, and Pelka gonna be the last last to die here. Still not dead quite yet. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's able to hold on a little while longer, rocking up on that damage. But damn, gonna get hit right there. Toss. No, no upy to catch Pelka's upy. Uh, yeah, the blue team definitely needs to get the stock off, and just gonna take it with a, just a a, a rainy rainy F tilt there. Uh. Right now, blue team, blue team is looking a little rough. Everything would be even, but Kuma is at 90 right now. He's taking a lot of extra percent here. Oh, uh, he tries this could again. definitely be a scary position. No tech from Rob, but he lived anyway. Ah, uh, that's gonna be the stock from Kuma. And now Kuma on his last stock here. Here we go, one more time. And yeah, th we're gonna have to see some uh, changes from blue team here because they're they're definitely playing. Constantly behind here and dropping a lot of uh, crucial situations. I mean, bro, I mean, we're watching this here. Polka running that stage like it's his goddamn job. I mean, look at him running around. <laughs> there we go. Runs with the dash attack, yeah. slashing out the sky. Ooh, Sis. clean. Throwing Nuggets off stage now. Ooh, almost Oh, we grabbed this. Okay. Yeah. I actually expect more up smashes from Polka. Yeah. I think, uh,. I think up smash is the play, but it's just very he has to, he has to be careful because uh, if Ra if Raffi gets hit by it, it's just gonna be a soccer run. Goes for the oh. raw side B. Oh he kind of to parry it, but you just can't really parry multi hits. Goes for the down I'm throw, no chase damage. off of it. Yep. No kill off of the dancing blade quite yet. Down throw into the grenade. Yeah. Pelk is just so good with his uh, his down throw pops. He's gonna drop a grenade, drop a C4, and down throw, and every single option gets covered every time, and he's just not gonna drop it. Kumov C. Oh, reverse here. as well? Yeah. He's looking clean. Oh no. Oh no, what's going on down there? Oh, nice. What's going on down there? Hey! That was nice. So he, he feared him, Ra uh, Raffi teched it, and then he feared him again for his shovels, and he wasn't able to tech that one. Just the mistiming. But all four players on their last stock here, red team but look on at their Kuma, fresh bro. stocks. And Kuma at 145, he's definitely gonna wanna sit back here and not play not play too uh, aggro. Oh god. Yeah. It's a super scary spot, but this is I this is still definitely doable. It's, it's very doable, and especially Kuma uh, does that's have that jump. shield breaker. Oh god! Nice, nice grab ledge just before. Oh he's dead. Up throw, yeah, it's gonna be the stock. And now it's gonna be nuggets, up to nuggets for the 2v1 here. Yikes, woo! Oh, uh, he almost had him with a dare up, up smash. Oh. No punish. Yeah, they not? have so many options to cover ledge for this team. Uh, just give me uh, Raffi doing side B to cover get up. The only <laughs> option you have is just uh, get up attack. That's it. And you see every single time we're seeing uh, Nuggets go for the Peach Bomber, or I guess the Daisy Bomber in this scenario, yeah. just because of, of how safe it is on shield. You'll bounce off, you'll, you'll have a chance to be aggressive while also uh, putting yourself oh. in an okay position. That could have been disastrous. Oh, this Holy cow. Good. Beautiful. Oh, just do it again. And oh, nice, they are nice, beefing nice. it, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely, they're definitely throwing a lot of these uh, 
team punishes here. Helka's dead ass standing Not moving, not moving. Like, oh, oh, oh yeah. my god, the shimmy shimmy? This is definitely scary. Swa la la oh, la, oh. He, 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 tick, he ticked him with the C4 there. If, if, uh, He's gonna yeah. go for the up throw and then, yep, yeah. That's gonna be it. And that's just gonna be 2-1, Rafi Pelka over Kuma yeah. Nuggets. Pelka doesn't look too happy about that, I don't lie. Yeah, a I mean, little, Probably a little too close for comfort for he him. He was like, bro, like, come on, cover these options. Like, yeah. I got the down throw, you cover that, I cover, all right, I guess not. All right, you know, I'm just gonna detonate the C4 on you and it better work. All right, you down throw and I'm gonna do this. Oh, wait, you're up throwing. Okay, never mind. Uh, I, guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just stand here by myself. He's like, I'll just stand here.